Hi, it's Barry Girvin here again. I'm uh, with Corey Fowler. Hi, Corey. Hey, Barry. How's it going? Not too bad. We're uh, uh, webcasting again here from the uh, Object Sharp New Horizons online live training booth down at uh, our new offices on 11 King in Toronto. And uh, wanted to continue off with now that we've set up our Azure account, um, how do we actually go about deploying stuff to it? So in the last video, we left off... <clears throat> We left off uh, um, with it provisioning our account, and it eventually redirected me to this page, um, which is, what is this called? This is this is the uh, Windows Azure Platform Portal. Uh, okay. This has just recently been refreshed with the 1.3 release of the SDK. Great. And I noticed I also got an email sent to me um, once it was all provisioned as well, and I can click this link, and it'll take me back to that um, place again as well. Now, uh, before we get started, Corey, um, up on our blog, there is also a zip file that you need to download uh, for this exercise, which is the Window Azure Training zip file. And we need to um, we need to extract this, right? Yes. So we need to just copy that out and put it on our desktop. Yeah. So what this file contains is. Uh, a CS package PKG file and a CS config file. Uh, this, the CS PKG is a cloud service package and this contains a compiled version of our uh, ASP.NET website and the CS config file which has a number of configuration settings for the environment that um, Windows Azure needs to know about for it to set up the, uh, the VM properly. Great, okay. So tell me what I'm doing now. All right, so now that you're in the portal, what you're probably going to want to start with is by creating a uh, hosted service. And you can do that by clicking up at the top there. Awesome. So the first thing you want to do is choose what subscription you uh, have available to you. Obviously, you only have one, but there is the opportunity to have multiple, so we will need to make sure. Um, so we're, we're going to be uploading the Nerd Dinner application, so that would be a great title for the, uh, the service that we're creating. Uh, the next thing is by creating a unique URL subdomain, uh, and this can contain dashes, but needs to be unique globally to Azure because it is a subdomain. Oh, URL. okay. So Nerd Dinner is actually taken. So what should I put in here? Just uh, uh, let's know? do uh, Nerd Dinner Azure Fest post. Okay. Well, just keep it central, <clears throat> simple for this demo. We'll just pick North Central. Yeah. Now um, my. Uh, I can't see the whole screen here. Uh, if I move this up a little bit, you can see there's other buttons. I'm at a reduced rev resolution, so yeah. So if you hit F uh, F11, what that will do is it'll pop the. I'll move this out because my screen is bigger than we're capturing. So just hit OK. Yeah. Oh, I need to turn off. I need to set Do Not Deploy. Sorry. Yep. Do Not Deploy. Perfect. It says it's created. So that's created. Awesome. So if you click on the hosted service node there, you'll see two options up at the top are now available. Uh, so you can make a production deployment or a staging deployment. So we'll do a staging deployment just so it's a background. Okay. And for this, is the name here is just a label so you know exactly what it's deployed there. Uh, it's also good to include the date so you know when it was deployed. Okay, cool. And now, uh, now we're using the package that it was provided in that zip file and the configuration file. Yes. So I'll browse to that. Just on my desktop. And same for the configuration file. And then hit OK. That's everything, yep. Cool. Now this little warning here is telling you that you are only using a single instance and a um, so you're using a single instance within your service, so it doesn't actually meet the requirements of the SLA. Uh, but because we're just testing this out, we're fine with that. So what we can do is just close that box. It's going to relaunch when we hit OK again, uh, but then you can just hit Yes. Um, there's a small bug in the UI at this time. I see. Okay. All right. Now this is going to asynchronously deploy that package to Azure. And in a couple of minutes, we'll have a, a version we can actually look at. What's it doing now, Corey? It says it's staging, deployment, role, and instance, allocating. What's, uh, what's that all about? 
All right, so, so our new deployment package is now spinning up a new instance. Um, because there is the ability to have multiple instances running, um, it is an Elastic Cloud. Uh, it's spinning up our first instance and deploying the, uh, the package to that instance. Cool, so if I wanted to create multiple instances or servers, I don't have to redeploy every time I just create multiple instances? Nope. You'll be able to go in and edit the configuration file, which is where the number of instances is stored. That's awesome. And you'll be able to spin up new instances from there. Okay, so through the magic of television, we've skipped ahead 10 minutes into the future. Uh, it says ready. We're all done. So what, what does that mean, Corey? Yeah, so this means that our application is fully uh, deployed and ready for use. So what we should be able to do is go up to our deployment uh, node there and click on the DNS name at the side. Now this is using a really long GUID value as a subdomain and the reason for this being is that we deployed to staging and typically you don't want people navigating to this so it's a it's a larger value so people can't just randomly guess where it is right I got it so um, the cool thing about getting to this point right now is that we've got the application running um, we haven't deployed a database yet and we're going to show you that in a little bit but at this point we've successfully activated our Azure account our subscription deployed created a hosted service and deployed our MVC app completely unchanged um, into the cloud which is very cool um, and uh, Microsoft Canada has this great promotion that if you get this far and you're part of a .NET user group, um, you can submit a screenshot of this to uh, Microsoft and they will give $25 worth of funding to your user group. So let's uh, take a screenshot of this. I'll just use Alt Print Screen and then uh, flip over to a new email and drop that in. That screenshot, make sure the URL is visible. Um, who am I sending this to? Uh, you're going to be sending it to cdnazure at microsoft.com. In the and subject, should I put the user group name? You definitely want to make sure that you include your user group name so they can get the funding. Great. Awesome. And that's, and that's so it. you've done it here, but just to be sure, um, make sure you do get a the URL within your screenshot so they can show that it is sitting on Azure. Right. Great. Awesome. So now, uh, uh, dear Metro Toronto user group, $25 is on your way. Uh, and um, thanks to Microsoft for that. Thanks for your time, Corey. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Barry.